Catcher Sam Harrison played during six seasons for the Colorado Springs Sky Sox of the Old Western League between 1950 and 1956, and his legacy in the game is of historic proportions as a pioneer and as part of an amazing baseball family. Harrison played for the Birmingham Black Barons and the Indianapolis Clowns in the Negro League from 1944 to 50 before signing with the Chicago White Sox in 1950 and reporting to Class A Colorado Springs. When he was called up from Colorado Springs in 1951, he became the first African-American player in the history of the White Sox, just four years after Jackie Robinson's historic debut with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Harrison was the Western League MVP in 1953, hitting 310 with eight home runs and 102 RBIs, leading the Sky Sox to the regular season title. And in 1955, he won the league batting title at 350 with six home runs and 91 RBIs, and he reached the 500 hit plateau for the Sky Sox. He retired after the 1960 season, then spent the rest of his career as a scout and a coach with the White Sox. He died in 1997, following induction into the Sky Sox Hall of Fame in 1993. Harrison comes from the biggest Major League Baseball family as the father of Major League players Jerry Harrison Sr. and Johnny Harrison and the grandfather of current Major League players Jerry Harrison Jr. and Scott Harrison. When you see the, the four key years he was here, the Sky Sox franchise flourished. Uh, they end up win, uh, were either in first or second place in those four um, full years he was here with the team. In 53, they end up winning the uh, Western League regular season title. Then he gets called up to Double A Charleston in uh, 54. The team, the Sky Sox, suffered one of their worst seasons ever. It's one of those uh, Royal Gorge Valleys uh, type of seasons that go from 83 wins down to 44 wins and have over 100 losses in that 54 season. Then Harrison comes back becomes a key part of the veteran leadership here for the team in 55, get 81 wins, and all of a sudden they win the Western League title again in 55. Upon graduating out of high school, I got uh, uh, drafted by the Chicago White Sox and uh, was sent to Sarasota, Florida. And who was there as one of the uh, coaches uh, on that team was Sam Harrison. And that was my first uh, uh, contact with Sam. Uh, what a great guy, what a class act. And I can't tell you, uh, I mentioned him in my speech at the Hall of Fame when I was inducted there. And that's how much he meant to me uh, uh, down in Sarasota, my rookie league year. Uh, and that was the rookie league down in Sarasota. So um, what a class act. And, and I can't tell you what it's meant to me to have had Sam as a coach. When you think of uh, Sam Harrison night back in 1955, you know when all the, when he gets all those tributes from all the city leaders, the uh, the uh, the team, and everybody here with the community. When you have the entire city uh, of Sky Sox fans put together a collection of money to put together to uh, buy a 1955 Pontiac vehicle. You know, three, four miles of Omni Dominer, brand new car right out of the parking lot at the dealer. You know, you say, wow, I mean, what, what an impact he has shown for the city here of Colorado Springs. When you think of a three generation family, there's only three of them the Boons, the Bells, and the Harristons. And when you think, uh, when you think, uh, when, you, when you have Sim sign his son, Jerry Jr., uh, to the White Sox organization, becoming the first father and son uh, black family to play in the major leagues. That was quite special for Sam back in the uh, 60s. You know, and the idea of seeing that generation uh, continue on to the next generation with Jerry Jr. and Scott, and to see how much of an impact they're doing today right now in the majors.